My little nieces just got their email accounts hacked. Um, Gmail, Hotmail, doesn't matter. One of those free mail services. So the thing is, first off, I think people that have free mail services like Gmail and Hotmail are more inclined to get ripped off by a hacker. And I think that if you're going to have an email account like that, have every security option in place. So tie your account to a phone number. If they offer you the option, so if someone tries to, if someone hacks into your account and tries to change your settings or change your password, it has to go to your phone and you have to approve it. So <clears throat> someone broke into one of my relative's accounts. They don't have a lot of money. They just made new business cards. They're out of town. And the email comes in. It's a blanket email to everybody. I'm stuck in Greece and please send me money. Well, my natural tendency is to waste this person's time. I can't bust them. So what I'll say is, where are you going to be? How much money do you need? $1,500? How, how about if I just send you the $5,000 I owe you? Then they send back, well, you could send $4,000. Okay, but I'm not sure I can do Western Union. I go back and forth and I keep them busy. I like to keep them busy. So instead of ripping other people off, they're busy with me. And I like to break their hearts a little bit and, and let them down. So in the end, I say to the guy, hey, look, um, I'll send it. Go to, go, to, go to Western Union, pick up the money. It's there waiting for you. Then he gets there and it's not there. Then he emails me again. Where's the money? <clears throat> At this time, I've decided that I wanted to fight to get that account back. A thug comes up to a woman and steals her purse. It used to be in the old days, someone would take your purse, they'd, like a purse snatcher, he'd steal your purse, then he'd go in the bushes and he'd take all the money out, then he'd go to the nearest post office box and he would drop the purse in a postal box. That way the person would get their purse back with all of their personal stuff. See, kind of a little honor among thieves, but people don't do that much anymore. They steal your purse and then they want to rip off everything and then they throw your purse in the garbage. So you never get a chance to have it. But if you're going to be a thief, why not just take what you need? Why throw away the rest? <clears throat> so I'm figuring this guy already hacked her account. He got what he wanted. Why can't he give her her account back? So I sent him an email, which I considered actual and truthful. The email was titled, I need your help, which was from him posing as my niece. I sent this back. My niece has had tragedy in her life. Her father has died and she is poor. This is true. I learned you have hacked her account and for the sake of God and for the sake of her dead father, watching over her and now watching over you too. Please send me the new password to her email as she cannot afford to lose her email account to you. I know you may think Americans are rich and live in excess, but my niece is a good girl and deserves this from you. Blessings to you and I hope you are safe and those you love are free from harm. Brett. And his response was the password, which was Please forgive me. He wasn't a hacker, he or she. He was a human being. We weren't just some American victims. We were humans. We humanized ourselves to each other and we created something beautiful. And I'm excited that, that we got hacked. We got our email back. Um, so employ the, 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 uh, um, the safety measures. But if, it, but if your email does get hacked, you, you have contact with this person because this person is reaching out to try to get money. Rather than trying to scam him back, humanize yourself to the hacker. And we, I tried it once, 100% success. And maybe I've got a new friend. Um, let me know what you think.